Assalamu alaikum. Rana Liaqat Ali Khan, Government College of Pharmacronomics, welcomed its new batch of students to start a new learning journey. Due to COVID, to avoid students' gatherings, physical orientation was not possible. Hence, we decided to give a virtual orientation for the new students so that they may become a little familiar with the college. Let's begin with the college history as this college is one of the oldest and unique college in Karachi. Rana Liaqat Ali Khan College of Home Economics started in 1952 with support from the Ford Foundation USA and upward. Ford Foundation provided all the funds for the buildings, books, and training of staff, while Pakistan government provided the land. The first batch of students was admitted in 1955. Master education started in 1961, and the college was nationalized in 1972. What is homeconomics? A question that you may have or people frequently ask. So basically, it is a multidisciplinary field of study applied to home, family, and community. It is a lifestyle education to make appropriate lifestyle decisions. It empowers women. It fosters optimum human resource development and strengthens the families. Let's have a look at the different academic blocks situated inside the campus. The college has a spacious auditorium which was constructed in 2002. This is the administration and principal office block. Students are requested not to roam around and sit in this area, but for any official query, admission, or exam form submission, students can visit the office. The office staff there would be available for assistance. This building has two departments. One is Home Management and the other is Education and Research Department. All the Science and Humanities Subjects classes are held in this building known as SHB, Science and Humanities Block. This is the Nutrition and Dietetics Department. Right next to it is Apparel and Textile Department. This is Arts and Interior Design Department. This is the Family and Human Development block. Students have to move from one department to another to take their respective classes according to timetable. This is the College Library that has around 2,000 books and also Digital Library where students have access to internet, online books and research articles. The college also has two computer labs. The cafeteria area is semi-covered and offers a variety of delectable snacks available during college hours. We also have a photocopy and stationery facilitation in the same cafeteria area. As I told you before, that home economics is a multidisciplinary field of studies. Home economics has six major areas where students after inter can choose and learn in their respective areas of interest for four more years. At BS level, the college is associated with Karachi University and BS program is semester based. Let's explore the different areas of home economics and you can see what subjects you have to study and after BS in these specific areas, which doors of profession will be opened for you? Ms. Mahalaka Afreen is the head of the department for apparel and textiles. At interlevel, two subjects are offered. Clothing and textile is offered in first year and family clothing problem is offered in second year. After BS, the career opens for students are merchandiser and product manager, fashion designer, textile wet processor, and textile designer. Ms. Azra Faruqi is the head of the department for art and interior design department. In first year, 
students are offered the subject of applied arts. The rest of the courses are at BS level. The careers after BS in this area are interior designer, color consultant, art and design educator, and CAD designer. Ms. Shahina Sumro is the head of the Department for Family and Human Development. Family relation and child development is offered in second year. After BS, the careers for students in this area of farm economics leads them to become a family and career counselor, social worker, consumer advocate, and human resource coordinator. Ms. Fahima Fatma is the head of the Department for Nutrition and Dietetics. In first year, students are offered to learn food and nutrition, and in second year, they are offered the course of meal management and food preservation. After BS in this area, students can choose their career as a clinical and consultant dietitian, public health nutritionist, restaurant manager, a recipe developer, and food stylist. Ms. Shahnaz Javed is the head of the Department for Residential Management and Entrepreneurship. This department offers courses only at BS level. The careers after BS in this area are Small Business Manager, Human Resource Manager, Lodges and Office Management, Event and Project Manager. Ms. Khalda Jamani is the head of the Department for Home Economics Education and Research. In second year, home management is offered to students and after BS, students can work as a home economics educator researcher, environmental manager, program manager for education programs. Then we have two very important departments, science and humanities departments. Both of these departments are separate departments. Ms. Sahela Hassan is the head of the department for humanities and Ms. Mahajibin Saud is the head of the department for science. In first year, students are offered to study Microbiology, Islamia, English 1, and Urdu 1. In second year, students have to study English 2, Chemistry, Physics, Urdu, and Pakistan Studies. All these subjects are compulsory subjects. The college has a well-maintained sports ground and a volleyball area. Qualified physical training instructor Ms. Anjan Zahra supervised students' physical training regularly and prepared them for the tournaments arranged by Intermediate Board and University of Karachi. To maintain discipline in college, we expect the students to follow certain rules and regulations. Proper uniform is mandatory. Dupattas and scarves of same color should be worn. White and black shoes with white socks are allowed. Any discolored shoes, scarves, sandals, jewelry, and makeup are not allowed. You can also check the details on college website regarding uniform. It is compulsory for every student to wear college ID, card, and face mask as well. Students are also required to follow SOP for COVID-19 in college premises. College timings are from 8 to 1.30 p.m. Students after entering the college premises will be guided to note their timetables and directly go to their classrooms. As due to COVID-19, morning assembly is suspended. Mobile phones are strictly prohibited. Students should attend classes regularly. 75% attendance is required for theory class and 85% attendance is required for practical class. Students are responsible for maintaining general cleanliness in classroom, corridors, and open spaces by refraining from throwing trash of any kind around. Sections once made will not be changed. Therefore, no students will be entertained in this matter. Outsiders are not permitted to enter the college premises without prior permission of the principal. 
If any student is taking any specific medicine, she has to keep her medicine in her bag. No medicine will be provided by the college. No half day leave will be sanctioned to student except for any genuine reason. Only mothers are allowed to take their wards with them. If a student is absent in a class or in case of any medical leave, she has to provide an application duly signed by her parents along with a medical certificate. If any student cannot afford or have some financial issues, she may inform via email at gmail.com. Students are not allowed to go and sit in prohibited area inside college campus. Staff bangalows at the back of the college, non-teaching staff quarters, near main gate, no students are allowed to roam around and sit. Near auditorium and office area, near water cooler area, Students can sit in the corridor, inside library, and in open areas. Due to COVID-19, students are required to follow these rules for their own safety and for other safety as well. Wear your masks, bring your own lunch and water bottles, keep hand sanitizers with you all the time. Students are directed to maintain social distance while sitting or standing students are not allowed to share their belongings with each other. Ms. Khazala Naim is the in charge for Student Affairs Committee. She works as Associate Professor in Art and Interior Design Department. Ms. Hina Kazi is a lecturer at Nutrition and Dietetics Department and is also a member of Student Affairs Committee committed to facilitate first-year students. Ms. Saima Khan is a lecturer at Apparel and Textile Department and also a member of Student Affairs Committee. In second year, she facilitates students for their college-related issues. The Student Council is an organized body which plays an important role in college curricular and co-curricular activities. It is established by Student Affairs Committee and run by students. It is comprised of President, Vice President and General Secretary. Ms. Ruhi Iqbal is the lecturer in Apparel and Textile Department. She is also the Intermediate Committee in charge. She is responsible for solving students' admission and examination enrollment problems. She also allots sections to enter students. We recommend that you visit college website for further information. We also recommend, highly recommend students to join the college Facebook page to keep themselves updated with college news and events.